So if I am someone um, in a management position in an organization, there are some reasons I believe to pursue the scaled effort and what would those reasons normally be? If you're looking to solve a scaling challenge, um, again, my first response is, can you scope things down to less people, less work, so you're not dealing with scaling? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something with your listeners. This is something I would normally draw on a whiteboard, but I'll see if, they can, if I can uh, talk people through it to help them appreciate this. So imagine a, a quadrant, right? You've got four, you've got a diagram with four quadrants. You've got two axes. On one axis, you've got number of teams. Um, and it'll go from one team on the, let's say the left-hand side to more than one team on the right-hand side. So that would be the x-axis. On the y-axis, the up-down axis, you've got number of products, right? Uh, at the bottom, you've got one product. At the top, you've got more than one product. So you've got four quadrants. One quadrant, one team, one product. That would be the lower left-hand one. Lower right-hand side would be um, one product, uh, multiple teams. Um, and as you go up, you've got the quadrant in the upper right-hand corner would be one product, multiple teams, right? And then in the far corner, you've got multiple teams, multiple products. You've got these four quadrants. Um, one product, one team is easy, do Scrum. Um, if you've got one team, multiple products, right? So you've got a single team trying to manage multiple products. That's just messy. Like that, that is, I don't know if, you've, if any of your listeners have actually worked in that environment where I've got a single team, but I've got to juggle all of these products that we're working on. It's really hard to get anything done because you've got all these competing interests that you're working on. So if you're in an organization and they're looking for help on scaling, and I've got one team and multiple products, my response to always that is just focus. Like get your teams to, on every sprint, focus on a single product. You'll, the focus will allow you to get more actually delivered, get more actually done. Multitasking is a killer. So juggling multiple products by a single team in a single sprint is tough. So a little bit of focus, you can move that one team, multiple products, down into that nice little quadrant where you've got a single team and single products. If you've got multiple teams, multiple products, you know, that would be the upper right-hand quadrant, that's portfolio management, really. So I've got all of these teams that I need to work with, and I've got all of these products that I need to work with. How am I gonna manage those? How am I gonna juggle those? Um, actually, SAFE's actually got some pretty decent guidance. If you're looking for help on portfolio management, SAFE's actually got some pretty good ideas of portfolio Kanban, which basically limits the number of uh, initiatives that you have going at any one time. And I would suggest if you can limit the number of initiatives and take the single products and marry them to, to single teams, again, you can shift down to that lower left-hand quadrant where you've got a single team, single product. Scrum works really well there. Now, in the upper left-hand quadrant, that's where you've got a single you've got multiple teams, single product, big, you've got a big product. You've got a big product for whatever reason. Um, one team is not going to give you the ability to deliver as much value on this product as you possibly can. So you've got multiple teams working on that. This is where the Nexus guide can come into play. Um, I will say if you're for whatever reason, able to slice the product up in such a way where every single team can focus on a feature or focus on their particular piece of work and decouple any dependencies across the multiple teams, then you're back into that great quadrant in the lower left-hand corner where you've got single team, single product, and Scrum works really, really well. So back to the original question. It was a long diatribe there. So company comes looking for help on scaling. I figure out which quadrant they're in. Right, that's the first question. Have you got, have you got a whole bunch of products in one team? Okay, if you need really help there, then just get them to focus on a single product at once. If you've got multiple products, multiple teams, a little bit of portfolio management, and there's lots of different ways you can do that, but allowing 
single teams to focus on single products for short periods of time, one or two or three sprints, whatever the case may be, can be really great. If you've got a single product, multiple teams, Nexus is good. And why Nexus? For me, it's about simplicity. You're going to be dealing with a ton of complexity when you've got a single product and multiple teams building into that and trying to deliver working, functioning software on a regular cadence, trying to coordinate 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 people. There's going to be a ton of complexity from that. Because of that, your processes should be as simple as possible. Having a really complex process, trying to manage really complex work, you'll, you'll find you're going to struggle. Whereas if you've got really complex processes, a really, or sorry, really complex problems, simple processes is what you need. That's the great thing about Scrum. Uh, Scrum's meant to deal with complex work where there's lots of moving parts, lots of unknowns. You're not sure what the customer wants. You're not sure what your people can build. Um, you're, 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 you're learning as you go along. So let's have a really simple process to manage that. Scrum Guide's 13 pages long, really simple. Nexus Guide probably isn't that much bigger than that. So why Nexus? It's simple. It'll get you to focus on what's most important. And then based on your context, you will add additional pieces to it to help you solve the problems that are unique to your context.